you find that core and center of who you are and, and you find your identity as a person, you know, the world kind of opens up a bit and things become brighter. I, I focused on being the best me I can every day. And I think that was the, that's when I simplified, when I simplified everything like that, life has been better for me. I, I feel like the game is always evolving and I got to continue to evolve with it, with it. And, you know, that's the fun part, you know, not knowing how the game is going to grow and, but being able to adapt to anything is, is something I try to prepare for. I cry probably like once a week over, <laughs> over just like, you know, cute videos I see on Instagram. I, and I think I'm, I'm, I just get, my cup is filled when I do stuff like that. Preparation is the most important thing. And for me, as an athlete, as a human being, you know, I think um, dealing with the Achilles injury is so much that goes into, uh, you know, your rehab process that, you know, I broke down every single part of my body in order for me to, you know, strengthen and get better so I can get back on the floor. So the preparation I had to put in before I, I got on the court or, uh, you know, uh, what I do after post-workout, you know, all of that stuff changed as I start to get older and I start to experience changes in my body. So, uh, you know, just preparing for games, shoot arounds, you know, building my routine up as a professional athlete has just evolved since, you know, we started working together. It's something I've been wanting to do since I was eight years old and I know what comes with it. Um, I understand that having this platform and playing on a platform um, like the NBA, it brings on so many different opinions and discussions about not only just what I do on the basketball floor, but who I am, my character, you know, how I operate off the floor as well. So and not, a lot, not a lot of people are going to agree with who I am as a person, you know, and I understand that from having different teammates, playing in different regions of the country, the world, you know, having different coaches, you know, we're going we gonna to have different perspectives perspectives on life so once I started to understand that you know and understand the human brain I guess you know it, it kind of relieved all of that extra pressure I was putting on myself or other people were putting on me I just I, I focused on being the best me I can every day and I think that was the that's when I simplified when I simplified everything like that life has been better for me I surround myself with people that enjoy the things I enjoy you know simple as that you know I I, I, I try to be around people that look at life in, in a different perspective, who's been through things, who's experienced, uh, you know, different situations in life with, you know, different people. I enjoy being around people who travel the world. You know, I want to, I want to hear those perspectives as well. And, you know, so, uh, you know, it, once you, 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 you find that core and center of who you are and, and you find your identity as a person, you know, the world kind of opens up a bit and things become brighter. I enjoy being out on the floor and, you know, just, Developing, I enjoy different situations, man. Just that journey of playing every single day, no matter if it's a workout or a game or a shoot around. Like I enjoy conquering that that challenge, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is for uh, that day, you know. And I, f I feel like each day is fresh, you know. I think when it, once I you know continue to feel that way, then I can play, as, you know, as long as I want, and that's what keeps me going every day because coaches come up with new ideas, players come up with new, you know shots and moves that maybe I can use, you know, strength, strength and conditioning coaches come up with different innovative exercises, you know, so I, I, I feel like the game is always evolving and I got to continue to evolve with it, with it. And, you know, that's the fun part, you know, not knowing how the game is going to grow and, but being able to adapt to anything is, is something that I try to prepare for. I think individually we're all competing with perfection. I think it's a, uh, it's such a, a hard task every day, um, but I think we're all com all competing against that, and some players reach that. And in my opinion, I feel like Michael Jordan has reached that. So I I, I think it's uh, it's uh, you know I should be looking at him and comparing myself to somebody that's you know mastered the game, you know, because that's what I want to do eventually. So you know I think it's it's healthy when you look at it that way, and and but when you are trying to compare personalities and character characteristics and how you want to act towards people like it, I, I think I think you got to find that within yourself and but as far as a craft and a skill I think it's good to look at others who've accomplished more than you or who have you know uh, elevated to a level that you want to reach you know wanting to produce content and tell stories around the game you know that's something that uh you know listening to Kobe Bryant speak and and you know hearing him after he retired and seeing the moves that he made as a as a businessman uh, for, uh, as a retired uh, basketball player as well, you know, it, it, it struck a chord in me that, you know, I love to tell stories around around the game of basketball. So many different avenues 
that you can inspire people through. So, you know, uh, through podcasts, through documentaries, short, short films, you know, I just want to tell that relationship between the game and the, and the individual. And I think, um, you know, everybody on 35 Ventures, we got that same vision, you know? So it, it, when you build on a small team and a new company, it's pretty fun, you know, because everybody got fresh ideas every day and, you know, it's a family-like atmosphere. So I'm, I'm excited about what I've built off the court, but also know it stems from everything I do on the floor. It's, it's, it's all still a, a, a sport, a craft, you know, you want to obviously get better uh, at what you're doing and you want to grow your company. You want people to, you know, trust you for what you bring to the table and, and the same thing on the basketball floor. So, you know, that's why the game, I love the game so much. It, it's so many parallels in life and you learn so many life lessons through the game. And I just try to approach it, the team aspect, uh, off the floor as well, you know, so and, and a lot of people support me and, and, and got my back and everything that I want to do and make sure I'm not, you know, you know, make sure I'm talking through everything and going and going through everything with a fine to, uh, with a comb and making sure that, you know, we're all on the same page. So it's, it's just been fun building, man. I'm excited about what the, what the future holds. Uh, it's been 12 years now, so I feel like I, I kind of know my rhythm and, you know, what I need to do on the floor and how I need to prepare. Uh, each day as a basketball player and also knowing that, you know, having a lot of time to myself is good for ideas, good for just good for, you know, just getting a different perspective. You know, I'm single, no kids, so I can kind of move around how I want. So, I, you know, I work out for two hours a day and then the rest of the day I'm thinking of, you know, how we can tell stories, how we can build with other creators, uh, how we can build our team out, you know, so it's just constant, constant dialogue on, you know, you know, different and you know, just fresh ideas every day, man. It's been fun. So, you know, I, I, like I said, being a veteran, you learn how to prioritize your time and, 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 and you, you figure out your routine. And I think I'm at that point. Um, when I laugh a lot throughout the day, <laughs> I feel like I had a great day. Um, and I cry probably like once a week over, <laughs> over just like, you know, cute videos I see on Instagram. I, and I think I'm, I'm, I just get, my cup is filled when I do stuff like that, you know, and, Obviously, I love the play still, and I love building with, you know, uh, other players on the floor each and every day. But, you know, just that camaraderie is, is something that, you know, that's something that I need, and, you know, as a human being that makes me go. So, you know, just the small stuff I really enjoy. I'm just excited to be a player again, you know, sitting out a whole, a whole year, learning how to <laughs> relearn how to walk again after five months and, you know, learning how to be a basketball player again. Uh, I'm just excited that I'm I'm one of the guys, you know, that you know I could go through a practice in the in the game and, and 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 be one of the players again. So I'm excited about that. And you know, the game has just been so special to me. And playing on this stage in the NBA has afforded me so many so many great things. My family as well. So I'm just excited to be back out there and and, and spreading some love and joy for the game.